the Kurdistan region of Iraq right now is the three, uh, three Kurdish provinces in the north. There's not a lot of oil there. Uh, the big oil is in the city of Kirkuk, which the Kurds claim they'd like to have a referendum which would make it part of their region. That's another question we can talk about. Um, a, a lot of small oil companies, uh, a Norwegian company, uh, one uh, American company called Hunt Oil uh, have, have been in there, some Canadian companies, I think there's even an Indian company in there, and they, a few of them are ready to start pumping. Um, they're small operations, but with oil at 100 and, what is it, $16 a barrel yesterday? Um, has it again? Uh, so they, even small amounts of oil are quite interesting. And uh, the question is whether these contracts will be valid later. And the Baghdad government, as you say, is opposed to these deals. The Kurds, again, say, with, and they have a lot of international consultants working on this, uh, interpreting the Constitution, saying, look, we've, we've got a deal. The deal that they inserted into the Constitution was uh, that all old oil wells still belong to the central government, the revenues will be shared. Any new discoveries will be, the oil will still be, go into the, the central pool and the revenue will be dis distributed, but the administration of these contracts and the corruption involved around them, etc., uh, but also the legitimate proceeds would, would go to the region. Um, so there, there's a big question about whether this oil will be able to get out, because uh, Kurdistan is landlocked. Turkey is unfriendly to the idea of Kurdish independence. Uh, the current pipeline goes, uh, the Jehan pipeline goes up through Turkey, and the, the question is whether the Turks will allow it to come out. The Kurds are building their own pipeline, which they hope, again, with the, the price of oil going up, that no one will be able to resist. Um, but the, the argument over the oil law, which they've recently spent uh, several months arguing about to get it back to the agreement that they made in February of 07. That's the sort of progress we're making on that. Um, the argument about that is whether they have the right to be doing this. And the oil minister in Baghdad has threatened to blacklist any company that's working in Kurdistan. It's all tied in as well to what people think the fortunes of Iraq are going to be. If they think it's going to be impossible to get oil out of there, out of the center and south for the next 10 years, then even some of the big companies are looking at buying out some of these smaller companies that are in there. Um, so it's a huge issue. Uh, Kurds won't say it much, but certainly people on the outside, uh, they would say their enemies would say it for them, that if Kurdistan gets oil, then they'll be independent. Um, and uh, certainly the Turks have a fear that if the, if the Kurds got the oil in Kirkuk, then suddenly you're talking about uh, a reserve the size of something that, say, the country of Qatar has. And you're talking about it the Turks would say that means that then they'll be able to buy an air force and start uh, biting off chunks of Turkey. That's their fear.